Hello America, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my review of Married at First Sight, Season 12, Episode 2. It's late, but it's not really late because this was really one of the first days that I was able to do it. I'm still trying to get my schedule figured out with the um, addition of school, but I am here. So, and the episode was only an hour and 22 minutes. See, that's what I like. Because I was like, if this is going to be another two hour episode, I'm going to go. I'm just going to walk out. I'm going to bail out on Married at First Sight and y'all not going to hear from me. So, Clara and Ryan, they reveal themselves. They exchange their vows and now they're married. You know how it all goes. I wasn't actually really listening to Clara and Ryan speak. But I did hear him say, uh, ask her, what is her biggest fear? And she says, my biggest fear is that I'll love you and that you won't love me. That's a lot to say to someone. So, um, they're both all in with one another. Claire says that she falls fast and she's very honest in relationships. Maybe sometimes to a fault. <sighs> uh, she says that their first dance doesn't feel awkward and... Then they're talking about some stuff and, you know, they're talking and then her bridesmaid comes over, her bridesmaids come over and then she starts talking about like her dress and how this and how that and he was just like, and it's like, you ain't never heard nobody talk? Like, but anyway, he just looks a little bit lost. Her father says that Clara talks a lot and she is an extreme extrovert. That's a lot to handle. Oh, you like my... My loungewear set. My loungewear set. It's it's this and the matching pants and the pants have pockets. So I'm giving you loungewear. I bought four of them because I need to lounge. You see? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I need to start wearing my necklace around the house. My C. Anyway, that's not why y'all here. So, um... His friend gets up there and says that he is, has been around a lot of success in his life and he also be FaceTiming them a lot. Did he say anything else that I may have missed? Maybe. But like I said, um, wasn't really paying attention in the beginning. I wasn't really paying attention in the beginning, but my comprehension and my... Um, listening skills did get better as the show progressed so we see eric oh my gosh did y'all know that eric was married before i never knew i never knew i never knew that man was married i just i never wow wow but he he knows marriage you know and he understands marriage because he has been married before but his first marriage was just like a I don't know. He said that he just got married so she could come stay with him while he was in the military. And I was like, huh? I wonder do I have any Sunday cones left? I was like, huh? Like, but anyway, I thought he was going to say it was a 90 day fiance marriage. I really did. I really thought he was going to say that. And I was going to say, dun -dun -dun -dun. like, come on, Sharp Production. Wait, Sharp is not in charge of Married at First Sight. Moving on. So... He says this isn't a game for him. This is a big risk. You know, he knows it won't work if they're not on the same page. His friend is like, um, are you going to take her last name as a joke? Then his friend is like, well, what if she doesn't want your last name? And he's like, my last name's Leek, man. Like, who wouldn't want my last name? And he's like, well, I'm a pretty traditional guy. So the experts, you know, hopefully they match me with a traditional lady. I'm not saying he had a little mini breakdown when his friend asked him that question. But why couldn't you have just answered the question? Like, is it really that deep? Is she like, no, I don't want to go through all that paperwork. I don't want to do all of that. I'll just keep my name. You really going to be like, what, man? I'm traditional. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He was kind of getting up. 
they were both kind of getting on my nerves now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. So, um, she says that she chose Married at First Sight because that means that the men who signed up to do the show are going to be loyal and faithful. And I said, did you not watch any of the other shows? Like, I'm very confused. Anyway, she wants him to, you know, kiss her on the lips and be all in and... He says, he talks about his first wife. Then Virginia father's com father comes, Eric's mother comes and tells him to be open and, you know, not to hide his feelings as he usually does. So, Virginia in the back crying, 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 crying. She just crying. Um, she's like, my whole life is about to change. You know, she finally walks down the aisle. She meets him. She thinks he's cute. He thinks she's cute. Um, they recite their vows. They're married now. Uh, she doesn't have a problem with him being 33, 33, 2, 4. I don't know how old that man is. She doesn't have a problem with him him being in his 30s. And he obviously doesn't have a problem with her being 26. You know, they, um, he, I don't know. Like, I know that she was, like, you know, kissing him and stuff. But I, whatever. I, I ain't really got nothing to say. I ain't gonna say nothing. So, you know, her dog is there. Her dog was at the wedding, which I think is great. Um, they both think that they have an instant connection with one another. She's over going to get some wine, and it looks like he's looking at her get some wine. He says that he loves that they're very comfortable with one another. Of course, because she's allowing you to kiss all on her. Like, of course he's going to be comfortable with that. What man is not going to be comfortable if you be like, yeah, you can kiss all on me? Like, come on. Let's, let's be honest. He talks about being traditional. If you didn't know, he is traditional, you know? He comes from a traditional household. He is traditional, okay? I don't know if you knew that, but I'm here to tell you homeboy is traditional. So, Virginia says, oh yeah, my parents are traditional. However, my siblings aren't and my sister is gay. And I was like, and he was like, oh yeah, you know, like, I, I don't judge. Well, I hope you don't. <laughs> like, I don't even understand why she said that. Like, okay. That was, I don't know. It was just weird to me. So, um... Virginia's friend tells Eric to give her time and allow her to open up. And Eric's friend or brother says that he's passionate and when he cares, he cares a lot. And that his father is a really sweet man. And then his mother, you're going to have to find that out for yourself. And I was like, why would you say that? I, it's, what, what do that mean when you say stuff like that? Anyway, so Brianna and Vincent. I guess out of the three couples that I saw, Brianna and Vincent looked the best to me as far as like, I had a little smile on my face, you know? I didn't have a smile on my face for the other two couples. And I don't really have any favorites of this season. That still hasn't changed even if their what their wedding was the best in my opinion of the three that we've seen I still don't have any favorites for this season I still don't have anyone where I'm like yay or any couple where I'm like yay I I'm really just phoning it in okay anyway so I want to know how long her hair took because she got her hair crocheted crocheted she got her hair crochet braided and I want to know how long it took because, and I want to, did she have to braid her own hair? Like, these are the things I want to know. So, you know, she wants to know what he looks like, what he sounds like. She's very big on the physical. So if the physical ain't hidden, then they ain't going to be hidden. He wants to be accepted in um, all of his aspects and in everything that he is. He's not looking for, you know, just a casual fling. He's looking for a teammate. Um, he wants to make this relationship the best that he can make it in every aspect. Um, I think, I don't, I mean, like, you know, I, I don't know. I don't really know if, 
I mean, I guess one couple or two couples would have to last, right? But I don't know. I don't really have any faith in this season because last season was a really good season. And people were really good, you know, and they really liked each other because the season before that was trash, you know? And I just really feel like they're going to be like, now nah, we can't give them two really good, lovey-dovey, meaningful seasons in a row. So I don't know if they... I don't I don't really have any predictions. I haven't went on Mavs fan to see the you know how it all plays out. So I really don't know. But anyway, um her mother comes. Her mother thinks that this is the best thing for her daughter. Her mother didn't think that Brianna was lonely, but she felt that she wanted to share the love that she had. To, with someone else you know what i'm trying to say um vincent's groomsmen pray and he hopes that his wife will accept him like i said um he wants to be a super dad and a super husband i honestly do not remember why his parents aren't in his life maybe they talked about it last episode and i completely glossed over it but i really don't know anyway so she sees him she thinks he's cute he thinks she's cute they recite their vows her wedding dress has pockets which is amazing um she's she's really pretty but her little nose and he got a little nose too i think it's really cute they got these two little bitty baby noses they're vibing um she likes the way he holds her hand he feels as though they've known each other forever. They tried to make it all awkward when they were sitting down at the dinner, at the reception, and she was like, oh, I don't be eating um, chicken. I should give up chicken, but when you think about it, when that man said Chick-fil-A is good, I said Chick-fil-A is good, bro. Chick-fil-A sometimes do on occasion be hidden. And sometimes you want to get you three wings and some fries and two pieces of catfish, okay, and some coleslaw. And you, 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 ah, anyway, let's move on, let's move on. But anyway, she's a pescatarian. They played the music and had their faces all scrunched up. Like, that was really something that she couldn't accept or he couldn't accept. I don't know. But anyway, they seem cool. Then we got Chris and Paige. They didn't get married, but, you know, all the way up until the moment that she's about to walk out. Look, it's such a big deal for her to be pretty. It is such a big deal for her to be pretty to him. Because even his mama and his daddy talking about, if she ain't pretty, then, oh. Like, it's such a big deal deal she's 100 percent ready because she's like i was here to be a mother and a wife and this is you know i i sent out my intention so i'm ready i'm ready he's like if she look good we're gonna have a honeymoon baby then he talking about his friend was like you gotta take a cold shower and he was like no nah, i'm trying to be working tonight <laughs> i just hope honestly for the sake of this entire relationship or this entire whatever i hope that he, she is as pretty as she needs to be to be in that family because they really if she ain't pretty boy i don't think it's gonna work out boy and i was like oh my gosh anyway the lady doing her hair waist was this small and i was like yes Okay, if my waist could be that small, I don't like the way the lady did her hair. Her hair looks just like it got some waves in it, and I didn't like that. He got a haircut, but I mean, his haircut didn't look any different. Um, I didn't really particularly, I don't know if I, Virginia's makeup was okay. It was just a little bit heavy to me. The, they had a really bad camera angle when I think it was Brianna and Vincent's wedding at the back, like behind the the ordained minister person. That camera angle was really bad. Sometimes the music is bad. Sometimes 
the um, dialogue is bad and it sounds muffled and everything but yeah this is this is it you know I'm here I've given you um, love after lockup will probably be out tomorrow I will I'll more than likely watch and record it tonight and it'll be out tomorrow so if y'all like this review you can like comment and subscribe you can follow me on Instagram Twitter or visit my website my name is Brielle I make beats I sing songs if you like what you see come on along bye